Well, folks, Bitcoin continues to dazzle as buyers beget, well, buying begets buying, right? We know the old saying. More folks are certainly jumping on a bandwagon. Now, some uh, believe others uh, will probably be have to get in, right? They want to get in before the experts or the pros or whoever because they think ETFs are going to start trading. I think the betting is pretty strong that it will. In fact, uh, we, we want to uh, get the read right now uh, on this space from Coin Stories podcast host, Natalie Burnell. Uh, Natalie, first of all, this ETF speculation, it's been around for about a week or so, but it seems like you got a real good bump uh, from this SEC Investor Ed tweet. It said, before investing in a fund that holds Bitcoin future contracts, make sure you carefully weigh the potential risk and benefits. Sounds like they know the ETFs are going to become a reality real soon. How does it change the game? Well, hi, Charles. Thanks so much for having me. You know, the ETF is a huge statement of legitimacy by the SEC. There's always been this dark cloud hanging over Bitcoin that the U.S. could try to ban it like China has done repeatedly. And this ETF development means there essentially will be no ban. There will be regulations like we all expected, but they will be in the same order as we have for all financial assets, which will only further entrench Bitcoin into the mainstream. Now, there are Bitcoiners who are skeptical of the ETFs because they feel people should buy and own the Bitcoin directly. They should learn to self-custody, which I totally support. But others feel that the ETFs will now be a simple way to own Bitcoin. Not everyone wants to be their own bank. ETFs have low transaction fees. There are no technology hurdles or wallet risks. So it sort of de-geekifies Bitcoin, if you will. ETFs can also scale without the swings in premium that have been plaguing GBTC. And I think it also provides legitimacy for pension funds to right. own Bitcoin, which could be a savior to underfunded pensions pension funds. But the most important thing is ETFs provide sort of this four lane highway with multiple on ramps and it could enable Bitcoin to get over that one trillion valuation hurdle we've been struggling with the last six months. Well, you, you had me at de-geekifying. <laughs> so, by the way, you know, we talk about the challenges that you just brought them up for Bitcoin, all these hurdles that they've been able to clear. One thing I saw this morning I thought was intriguing. It was news from uh, Bit Mining that they were leaving China in the pre-market, the stock rocketed higher 10%. And I thought to myself, golly, you know, this is essentially investors saying, China, you tried, but you can't stop the movement. We've heard regulators try. They can't stop the movement. I mean, are we past that now that somehow these, these great governments, that somehow they can stop this? I certainly think so. Bitcoin is made in America. I'm not sure if you saw that tweet from legend Michael Saylor, but the Bitcoin mining news, this really solidified China's poor decision about this technology. It allowed mining to leave China, reestablish itself in the West, which I think stabilizes the network and also demonstrates the resiliency of the Bitcoin network. I mean, half of the mining was essentially taken down offline for a short period of time, and the network didn't crash. It didn't suffer any service disruption. Bitcoin didn't go to zero like Peter Schiff wants. And if Bitcoin wants to assert itself as the first network designed to survive a global war, well, this was a proof of concept test because a distributed network can't be attacked while keeping the internet on. I got to tell you, Natalie, uh, I know you started this economics uh, passion project a few months ago. You're teaching people about investing in crypto. Uh, I, I took a peek at it. And I think it's fantastic. I urge everyone to check that out. Check you out on Twitter. You are absolutely fantastic. And I hope we can get you back again real soon. Thanks so much for having me, Charles. All right, we'll see you.